Hello, my lady friends, Tim here, and I'm going to do um, a lot of people have always wanted me to do, and that is the um, October Halloween block, which I do all, mostly all, um, mostly uh, here and there, and um, it's just just fun uh, little uh, reviews for um great little uh family friendly scary films or um tv shows tv anthologies so and not just family friendly like i'm gonna throw in tales from the crypt very soon my master's horror so it's mostly a hard talk meets television i guess but um this time i'm gonna do rl stein's haunting hour the series now <clears throat> i am going to review haunting hour uh the the film which um was really was actually really good now i'm going to do a re the review of the series and this is really i gotta say it i like it more than goosebumps my opinion um i really think i really think bob did something arl stein of course bob did something very different with this series and it's based off of a book called the nightmare hour and um there were a lot of stories in there that ended up in the uh, the TV series. And there are some episodes written by most, like, screen, uh, sc script writers, sc uh, screenwriters. So, yeah. I have to go with I have to talk about some episodes. This is where this is from the hub from 2010 to 2014. And they did very different than what Goosebumps did. There's an episode called Ghostly Stare. And don't worry, I'm gonna talk about this very in depth uh very soon. But it's about two siblings. That do that always do these staring contests, and it's very. It, it get it got into very detail, and it was, it did a very Stephen King like twist where the sister was replaced by this ghost, and the sister actually really, really died from that maze they were in. That's a very, very... That's going to end up in the list of one of the scariest episodes on the top five, top ten list that I'm going to do. Another one I really... I really uh, have this... Like... I'm really... Uh, I really like... And it, I could tell with the whole phobia of clowns. Afraid of clowns. Very, very... What the hell? This 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 episode is about a ki young kid that has the, this phobia of clowns, and he's very um at least Aspergers. You don't know, but he just has the, these these fear of clowns. It was very very the atmosphere. Oh. But uh, him finding out he, his whole family are clowns, it, it's just, oh my god, it's rough to sit through, but it's still pretty, pretty uh, cool to watch. Another one is Catching Cold. Uh, of course, really from Die Your Wimpy Kid series, the first three films, was in, a, was in one called Catching Cold where he's trying to stop this ice cream truck, and I like the, those types of... Uh, I like those types of stories 
with ice cream trucks, those like the, those creepy ones, ice cream trucks, clowns. You know, it, there's something I really like. I don't know. I know Tim Burton has that type of thing too. Uh, another one I really like. Headshot, the lovely Ariel Winter. Um, that was another one. It kind of reminded me of an episode of Tales from the Crypt with uh, with Kathy Ireland that um, S- Stephen Hopkins directed, the guy who did Nightmare 5. I believe possibly he took that from that. I don't know. I like Alien Candy with Matthew Knight from uh, My Babysitter's Vampire. I liked... That was a really good one. It also had Frankly from that. Um, Black Mask was a very... Very... Smart episode. It had Ricardo, Ricardo Hoyos... Madison Pettis, Ricardo, Ricardo Hoyos, which you all may know from Degrassi, is also, congratulations to him, going to be in Bumblebee. So, I really liked that episode. I really, really liked... Like, there are just a lot of these really good episodes, and many of them are very terrifying. Terrifying, terrifying. Then you have these silly ones like... My sister's a witch, and I love those types where it's like you always wonder if your sister really is a witch or a vampire or something. Really, really fun, cute episode. Another one I really like is the Gollum. That was another cute one um, I really enjoyed. There's a lot with, with this. I liked the one with Debbie Ryan, which I'm not a big fan of, but she really did good in that, which she tried very, <laughs> really tried to do that character that Emma Roberts did in Wild Child and failed. And she doesn't know if this girl she picks on is a witch or not. Uh, and that was a really good one. So there's a lot of really great ones. And no, I, I don't hate Goosebumps. I adore Goosebumps. I don't know if like I like this more than Nightmare Room. I think it's in the little in the mix there. I could see World of Fever Swamp in in this anthology, but uh, there's a lot more. I'm thinking I'm gonna go in more into depth with the uh, scariest the top ten scariest episodes. So. Can't wait to do it. Scare thing is scariest. Scarecrow is another one with Tom Kenny. That he was the like, the children's show host. That was another really creepy one. So it, there's a lot in. It's a lot of uh, great stuff. A lot of sweet tasted dishes. So Nick Monday. So I uh, hope you like this and uh, see you soon.